spelling by an artist called Rutz. We're going to need for the verse um, one riff in two different places. The riff is this. So we've got a low part and a high part. Same pattern notes in the same order, just one octave above the other. We're going to start with five on the E, two strikes of that, we're all doing all alternate picking. Seven, eight, up to five on the A, seven, eight, seven, eight on the E. Second half of the riff is um, slightly different the second time round. This is the variation we're looking at this time. So the first one we looked at was. This time we look at. Only if that is we five on the A again still five seven eight five seven on the D, uh, A string as well. But instead of playing eight on the A, we're actually going to play eight on the E. And then repeat again, 7 on the A, 8 on the E. All together. That's all we need. Uh, for this bottom one, you use your palm to mute the sound of the strings, so you get this palm muted sound. Same riff again, but an octave above. The frets you'll need are on the D string, 7, 9, 10. On the G string, 7, 9, 10. Back down to 9, finishing at 10 on the D. Uh, but again, of course, we're... Uh, Please note this time, no palm mute, it sounds really twangy, so if you can get that sound out of your amp for this part then, good. That's the first half of it, the other, the second round is... And so you'll need 9, oh sorry, 7, 9, 10 on the D, 7, 9 on the G, 10 on the D, 9 on the G, 10 on the D. All together. Again, we're still alternate picking. So that's the two riffs we need for Babylon's Burning. Chorus. Uh, it goes. Um, how many times you need? Same thing every time. Power chord. It's 5 on the A, 7 on the D, 7 on the G, up to 8, 10 and 10. And then we're going to be playing on the low E, 5, 7, 5, 7, 8, up to 5 on the A, and repeating. But it's two notes each, so I'm picking still, so... Again, these ones sound like they're palm muted. So, all together. That's it. For the bridge and the outro, um, we're going to be doing a lot of work with the E string, the low E string. Uh, what you'll need is to play alternate picking quite fast the following notes. Start at 1 on the low E, 3, 4. Now you're going to play 5 but only for half the length that you played the previous notes and the same for 7. So 5 and 7 are happening in the same space that you would give for just the first, third or fourth note, uh, or fourth fret. So then up to 8 normal length, or sorry, full length, 10, and then you're going to briefly hit 12, and come down for a power chord there. The final power chord is 5 on the low E, 7, and 7 on the A and D. So 
So that's the notes they need to play, but what you will hear in the song is that they are alternate picking. Uh, you can either do the alternate picking the same speed that you do in the... So it will sound like... Definitely near the end, they double the number of picks that you're doing, so you're picking twice as fast um, right before the end, but when they go a bit crazy, so you can try and join in for that as well. It's going to sound a bit very muddy, very messy, but something like. And again, all these notes are palm muted along here. Those are the three parts you need to play Babylon's Burning by Rutz.